Welcome back to our Bamboo Agro Forestry Farm. My name's Rowan. Um, I'm a forest scientist. We own this property and we've been growing trees for over 30 years. And we cut them down and this is, this is one I cut down. Um, I think actually this one was just a thinning so that I would give more space for this one to grow. Uh, the trees compete for light and you've got to manage that competition so that they actually uh, grow to their maximum potential. So we can actually now grow saw logs in, which would have taken maybe 60, 80 years in a native forest. We can do it in less than half that time. We certainly get some quite large trees out of eucalypts and they're all pruned. But what I want to talk about today is, is the stump. This is a live stump. Now if you have a closer look at this stump, you can see the size it was when I cut this tree down in terms of thinning it out so this tree would have more space over here. It was about this size in diameter. And it has since actually grown more in diameter over time. Another indication that it's remaining alive. But the clear indication is here, if we cut off some of this wood, and I've got a section off here, we can actually see fresh wood, quite solid, moist, and an active cambium layer, producing wood on the inside and bark on the outside. Effectively, the same as it is on the trunk of a tree. But in this case, it's really the same as down here, part of the root system of the tree. So what we've got here is a live stump, which has resulted from a direct root graft with a genetically similar tree in a close proximity, which is a allowed this root system which was active to be commandeered by what is now the host. Now I don't think the host is caring for this stump because the host here is benefiting from that larger root system that's active here. Now you don't actually see this occur very commonly in a native forest condition but in a managed forest it's very common to find these stumps. If you cut off a healthy tree, if there is a root graft, you've got moisture and carbohydrates in this root system and you've got the draw through photosynthesis up that stem, so the moisture that used to travel up into this tree is easily taken through and up into the other tree. And the sugars produced by that tree flow down underneath the bark, across the root system, down here to feed the growth that we see here and to feed the root development which the tree is using to explore for nutrients and for moisture out in that environment. It occurs across a range of species. It is no mystery. There's easy science to understand it. It's not about fungal connections between the trees. This is more fundamental. The volume of water required and the volume of sugars required and the timing of that suggests that it must be through an active root system. And we also see it in some plantations where people have cut a eucalypt, which is prone to coppicing, producing more leaf, and they've put herbicide on the stump, and that herbicide has been drawn down through the sapwood, through the roots, and up into the living tree and caused death, which we call flashback which shows a very strong moisture connection between those two. Okay, this is another part of our farm where we planted uh, Pinus radiata, a softwood. The live stump we were looking at before was actually a hardwood, a eucalypt, uh, similar to an oak in the Northern Hemisphere. I planted two trees here in, a, in the anticipation of getting one good one. And then I came through when the trees were about five or six years old and I cut down the weaker of the two this gave space for this one to grow, guaranteed me a good tree in that one spot. So it's been 20 years now since I did that thinning. The top of the tree has rotted into the ground. But here we have a stump which is held firmly in, into the soil. I want to look at now and see whether it's still alive. And we'll do that, we'll open it up. So you can see here we've got live wood, 
So this stump is staying alive even though it's got no leaf of its own. So it's clearly part of this root system now. This, the root system of this has been commandeered by this tree and then kept alive as a result of that. So this is another tree. I cut this one down about 15 years ago. It was a river she-oak and I cut it down in order to give the tree next to it more light, more space, free of competition so it could grow faster. What happened, this tree has commandeered this root system. This stump is still alive. As you can see, as I peel off the bark, we have a living cambium there. So this is part of a active root system of the tree beside it. What we need to deal with the huge issues around the world, climate change, biodiversity decline, soil erosion, animal welfare issues, sustainable sources of renewable timber. We need real science that's practical so farmers and forest owners can get out there and do stuff. So let's get on with it. Thanks very much for joining us.